Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video based on many requests that I've been getting from you guys it's how to install Windows operating system of the USB drive, USB stick. Um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can boot up the install, freshly installed Windows 10 of your thumb drive into your new uh, laptop or if you have upgraded the hard drive or replaced the hard drive or if you just want to format it completely and um, how you can install it boot it up from the uh, your usb drive i made another video um, just for how to download the windows how to burn it into the your usb drive so if you want to follow my other video to know how to, you can get this usb drive ready and uh, follow the link in my description for that once you have your USB drive ready, and in this video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP Pavilion 11-K, is a K16. But this applies for any HP Pavilion uh, laptop. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to have this specific one to do this method. As long as you have an HP laptop, the key combination, everything, all the process is the same. So let's get into it. First thing first, you want to grab your thumb drive and you want to plug in to any USB port that you have on the sides, preferably to a USB 2 connection. If you don't have a USB 2, USB 3 only, just plug it to any of them. And then what you want to do, uh, you want to get to the boot menu. Let me see if I, there's a reflection on this one. So if I turn it all the way back down, you might be able to see it. All right, there. Now what are we gonna do? As soon as you turn on, you're gonna keep hitting on this escape key and you're gonna see a menu pop up right there. So we're gonna put it on and we're gonna keep hitting escape every few seconds. And there we go, there we have the boot. It says F1 for system information, F2 for system diagnostic, diagnostics, and F9 for boot device option. So we're gonna go with then F9, so press F9 now it's going to give you two options and it says usb hard drive or you might have a different option too you just want to look for a usb hard drive in this case this is a samsung usb so there it is so you're going to click on that and press enter and it's going to boot up it's going to go start reading the usb drive and it's going to take you to the installation menu so you just have to be patient just wait a second Now that is taking us to the welcome screen. Here we're gonna choose the language that you want. If you download the US language image, then you're gonna have that one and just click next and click install now. And it's very important that you disconnect any cable that you have to connect it to your internet. Make sure you don't have any connection to the internet. And the reason is we're gonna remove all the blood words at the end so you don't have all those candy crush and uh, many other um, stuff that it comes with it so you can remove it before you connect to internet and terms and licensing so you can start reading it or just click accept and click next right here is very important you don't want to do any uh, update you want to do a custom install windows only for advanced so you want to click on the bottom one here click a custom in here you might have a whole bunch of uh, partitions in here because this has a new brand new hard drive in there it's going to show drive zero so you might have a drive zero like a few partitions if you have few partitions in here for example let me do a new one so you guys can see yours might look like this let me show you if you're using a drive that has a windows in it you might want to see something like that so what you want to do click on each one of them and click delete delete every partition that you can see in here so click on the second one delete accept and click on this one delete you have to delete everything so it becomes one big partition and the delete button yeah is not is grayed out once you have it like this you can either click new or just click simply click next so you're going to click next now it's going to start installing the windows on the drive this is going to take about our 10 to 15 minutes depending your computer your processor and it's going to restart once or twice probably 
And once it's restarting is finished, it's going to take you to an, another um, options that you need to choose. And I'm going to show you guys the proper way of choosing the options. All right, once it restarts, this is the first restart. So it's going to keep telling you start in doing device ready. So let it do its job. And once it's finished, it's going to take you to a welcome screen and it's going to choose you, give you a few options. And it's very important to choose these options carefully. All right, now it's taking to the final step, so we're going to be really close to the ending. All right, once you get here, the Cortana is going to start to help you. Click mute. But once you mute Cortana right there, uh, you're just going to follow the simple instructions. Just wait a second. Let it do its job. Sometimes you're not going to hear Cortana talk, and sometimes you will hear it, so... Once it's finished, it's going to tell you to choose your region. Just choose US or Canada. Click Next. And it's going to give you a keyboard layout. Choose your keyboard layout, US, Next. And click Escape for the second layout. And now it's gonna give you a choose the name, I believe. No, it's gonna give you choose the wireless network. You're gonna click, make sure you click I don't have internet, but you don't want to connect to internet. And the reason I'll tell you at the end. So click I don't have it and click continue with limited setup. Otherwise, you're gonna have a whole bunch of bloatware inside your windows, which you don't want there. So click to give the name that you want. HP for the password leave it blank in case you want to put a password put a password but for now we don't need to put a password now choose your privacy settings for this privacy settings I always like to remove everything I don't want uh, Microsoft or anything to have my data or anything like that so I just remove all the checks in here so everything you remove and click accept and click not now uh, cortana help you get things done click not now and now that should be off until we get to the desktop so just wait a minute uh, you should be in a desktop and once you get in a desktop there's uh, two more important things that you should do before you connect to the internet All right, now that we are inside the windows, um, we sh we're just going to first click close everything here. Click maybe later. And now very important, you go to the start menu and you want to see all this arrow. Here these arrows are affiliated programs with many other companies that they want McAfee and many other things that they're going to quickly start downloading into your hard drive as soon as you have an internet connection. So that's what before you have the internet connection, make sure you click right click on each one of them and unpin it from the start so unpin them from here right click unpin so these are the blood word that they're going to quickly get installed so you don't want these ones on your computer and uh, even the microsoft store you can unpin it you're not actually removing it but the arrows are removing it when you unpin them and so unpin this one unpin Regarding the Outlook and everything like that, I will unst uninstall this one because I have my own version that I want to install. So I unpin this one. Uh, Microsoft Office 365, I always uninstall it because I have my own Office that I like to install. Once you uninstall those, then you can go to the settings. And once you're in the settings, go to the system. Inside the system, go to the power and the sleep. And remove this one from five minutes to never for uh, for time being right now. 
because what are you going to do after this? You're going to go back to the home, Windows Update. Now, you're going to go ahead and choose your Wi-Fi network. And once you have connected to your Wi-Fi network, you're going to do a Windows Update and it's going to download a whole bunch of the updates for the drivers, for many other things for your laptop or your uh, PC. Once the, everything is downloaded, it's going to do a few restart. You come back and do recheck the update. After every restart, you have to check. Until you get a green check, that means all the drivers, everything is up to date. Once you do Windows update, then you should have everything ready to go. And again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to install your Windows on your laptop. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment area and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.